so today we have a bunch of korean lip tints to try out you know we have a lot of stuff from roman from peripera acute house i know that korean lip products and the entire korean beauty family as a whole is just such a big category to understand to cover because there are just so many formulas and they all look incredible online whenever you go on a website to try out like a new like a korean lip tint or something it's just very difficult to find the right shade for you and so i thought it would be a good idea to try out some of these lip tints on on camera and hopefully help someone out there um you know fixing the world's problem one step at a time hopefully help someone out there who's looking for a lip tint and is having trouble finding their, their shade match online and just talk a bit about the formulas and these are all the most these are highly rated products very very popular on the internet and for a good reason i actually love them and to be very honest if you have these in your area if these products are accessible to you price point that they're at i think they're just unbeatable i know i'm crouching a little it's just because my lighting is shifting and the sun is about to go away and i'm shooting this intro after i've recorded um the entire video so without further ado let's just get into the swatches this is roman zero velvet tint and this is in the shade vintage taupe uh, i got this very recently i think a few days ago and i've been testing it out ever since first of all in terms of the packaging it comes in this lovely frosted component and i think that's great i love the packaging i love that because it kind of tells you what the product is going to be like it's this velvety matte feel so i really like that it has a faint fruity bakery-ish scent nothing offensive nothing too loud um it's definitely there the fragrance is there so just something to keep in mind okay so how does this actually perform so I'll first do a swatch on my hands uh just for you to see what the color is actually like what the texture is like so this is the doe foot i hope that's I'm doing that YouTube thing. So as you can see, it's a beautiful color and uh, very, very fall appropriate. So, I mean, I don't experience fall, to be very honest. It's very hot where I am. It's very difficult to put um, lipstick on camera and it's very difficult to put eyeliner or mascara on camera but i'm trying my best if i make a face <laughs> forgive me mm. so as you can see it's like very velvety smooth very blurring i love that i have very dry lips i'm constantly uh, slathering on lip balm so I'm, i definitely know the struggle but these are very comfortable and um, very lightweight i would definitely recommend checking these out and okay so the next lip tint that we have is from peripera it's the peripera ink velvets i have this in the shade 17 and 23 i love the shade 23 so much that i've lost it i don't know where i kept it it must be in um a bag or something or somewhere and i have no clue where where that shade is and i love it so much it's, as a nude for someone who has brown skin it's incredible we have the shade 17 this one is very very popular i know because it's everywhere on the internet wherever i go and if i see um the ink velvet somewhere well the number 17 has to be there so i got it and um, i love the formula while i feel that the shade is a little too light for me so i have to use it with a lip liner but the formula in its own right is just incredible so first of all the packaging so cute this is adorable like this is in the shade 17 i think it's called rosy nude yes rosy nude i'm just very bad at describing fragrances but this one does have um a distinct smell put this on the back of my hand it's a lovely like pink color very very pretty if you have a lip liner um I personally like to use Makeup Forever's Artist Pencil in the shade Boundless Berry or the Pillow Talk Medium Lip Liner. And I just kind of uh, put that all over my lip and apply this um, 
and it's the perfect nude. What I'm gonna try and do is apply this on its own first and then apply it with a lip liner for you to see what um, you can, uh, what this lip shade is capable of. Mm. Makes me look a little dead, that's for sure. Worry about, we can fix this with some lip liner. So I have the shade Boundless Berry by Makeup Forever. I'm just gonna line my lips and show you what I can do with this shade. You know, we have so many like nude lipsticks in our collections and they're just sitting there wasting away because we just don't know how to use them in our routines. I'm going to take some of this ink velvet and put it on the center. Just put it in the center of my lip. And then on camera, it looks like slightly washed out and that's because of the light. But in person, this looks like the you know most ideal kind of nude. And it's very appropriate if you have like a meeting or just you have to go to the office or if you're just someone who loves nude lip colors in general. And in terms of the formula, you can't beat this. This lipstick or lip tint rather. This lip tint reminds me a lot of the Hourglass um, Velvet Lip Creams. I had those and I absolutely love them. I especially the shade Indulge. The only problem I had with that particular lipstick was uh, the fact that it was priced in such a way and you, you got such so little product. And then you have these and they're a fraction of the price, comes with so much product so I just find it very difficult to kind of go back to the Hourglass formula knowing that I have something like this. I have another Romand uh, lip tint. These are the, sorry, these aren't. <laughs> this is the um, Romand Blood. What the, what am I saying? These are the Romand Blur Fudge Tints and this is in the color Radwood. Um, just another really lovely autumnal shade. I mean, I don't really think of makeup as being seasonal i kind of wear whatever i want to but that being said this is like that perfect fall autumnal shade first of all the packaging again i just love the detail that goes into romand uh, packaging so this is again a matte formula so the packaging is also very matte so in terms of what this smells like this has i think this has my favorite scent so far uh, out of all the lip tints that I own. It's this beautiful vanilla bakery scent and it's done very well. Mm, very, very nice. It reminds me of Warm Vanilla Sugar by Bath and Body Works. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but it kind of reminds me of that uh, scent. This is what it looks like. Just a beautiful burnt terracotta brownie reddish shade. I, I just love this. I really love this. Okay, wait. I'm going to get my mirror. And I feel that this is a lot more powdery than the Peripera Ink Velvet. As the name suggests, very, very blurring, very velvety smooth. Definitely suggest making sure that your lips are exfoliated, scrubbed, very, very hydrated. These velvet tints, like these matte formulas won't look good on dry crusty lips so make sure that they're nice and hydrated but yes absolutely love this i'm putting a lot of concealer around my lips because i, I tend to get these lipstick stains here so i just hope that i don't notice anything while i'm editing this video so we've been trying out a lot of matte or semi-matte formulas now it's time to try something a little different so i have the roman juicy lasting tint in the shade fig fig and I've heard on the internet that these are very similar to the Rare Beauty lip oils. I have the Rare Beauty lip oil as well. And yes, yes, they are indeed very, very similar. I don't know how similar they are in terms of the shade range, but 
as far as the formula goes, very, very close. I think the only difference is how they end up feeling on the lips. When I apply the Rare Beauty lip oil, sometimes I feel I get this very cool, tingly sensation on my lips. I don't really get that with um, this particular formula. Uh, I have the shade Fig Fig. It's just absolutely stunning. It's this beautiful berryish color, uh, very appropriate for the season uh, right now. And I kind of wear this all year round. Uh, it goes well with, you know, summer looks. And very fruity, very fruity. If I wasn't horrible at describing scents, I'd say like a grapefruit. Could be wrong, but it's very fruity. Mm. <laughs> I got some on my nose. Let's do a hand swatch. Okay, so I don't think that the stain is going to be very impactful after a while. Um, as you eat food and as the day progresses, the, it will fade away. But it does leave a stain in all the lip tints that I have, all the lip stains that I have. This one's pretty strong. And yeah, it leaves like a very nice, lovely tint. So I like to wear this at, you know, airports or situations where I know that I won't have the time to keep reapplying lipsticks and lip products. So I like to have this for days where I need something resilient, something that will stay. Try to remove the hand swatch with like micellar water. And you can see that there's definitely like a bit of a stain. Mm. Just very, very comfortable. And very easy to put on. They're very buildable in the sense that once they start to fade away, I can go in with another layer to kind of intensify the lip. So that's great. And that's, uh, and this is what uh, the lip stain looks like lip tint rather these are not a substitute for lip balms and i'm gonna try out new shades for sure and if you have recommendations for k-beauty products there there's just so much in this in this category and it's difficult for me to try out everything find new products so if you have any recommendations that i've not mentioned in this video i would be so grateful if you could put them down in the comment section. So I'm trying to remove the stain with a cotton wipe, which has a Bioderma micellar water in it. And let's see what happens. Hmm. So it's definitely come off, but can you see the stain? Like it's so pretty, it's so elegant. If you don't have the Rare Beauty lip oils, and you don't have a shade preference. I mean, if there is a shade in the Rare Beauty range that you really want, go for it. But if you don't and you just want to try out a lip stain, I'd say go with this one first. And so the next on our list is another Romant product. And this is their Dewy Full Water Tint. And I have this in the shade 03 If Rose. Okay, so let's just put this on the back of my hand and see what we're dealing with, I hope. You can see the color. Again, it's like a very nice everyday shade. If you're someone who shies away from very bold colors, it's just a very, um, or very intense colors. Like this one's very soft, like a very nice nude everyday color, at least on my skin tone. I keep looking here because that's where my mirror is and the camera is here. So let me just hold. A nice pinky rosy color. Pretty. Such a lovely color. I think this one's a little less intense than the Juicy Lasting Tints. The Juicy Lasting Tints, how many times have I say that? Again, just really pretty, very glass like, and just perfect for every day. I'm gonna try and remove these. Why do I keep saying these? I'm gonna try and remove this for you to see. It's a really nice option for someone who just wants something that lasts. But I think the juicy lasting tints are definitely more long lasting than these, at least in my experience. Now we have another very popular uh, formula and this is the Etude House Fixing Tints. Yes, so popular on the internet and I was definitely influenced to get these. I would not have picked this formula up on my own because I already had so many tints. 
to work with and, and to use that this was not on my list by any means but i did end up picking one and i have the shade midnight mauve and i'm so glad i did because this is again a very different formula very different and not like the ones that i have in my collection and this one has i think the least potent fragrance when i say potent i don't mean that the others smell like a horrendous or very loud it says midnight mauve i see more of a rosy nude at least on my skin tone it comes across as a pink rosy color so not this formula then it completely dries down but it's not like a matte lipstick okay it's not as pigmented as a matte lipstick and it just doesn't feel dry on the lips it just doesn't feel heavy on the lips and it's i've applied this lip tint on days where my lips are just flaky like those were days when i should not have been going anywhere near a matte lip formula but I did, because I love matte lipsticks, and I did, and I, to my surprise, I found these are very comfortable, very comfortable to wear, very long-lasting, and just a very easy formula. I think if you're someone who just wants something that doesn't smudge, doesn't move around, I would recommend this, like, 100%, because it doesn't budge, doesn't move is on your lips and it's very low maintenance that you don't have to be worried that oh it's too intense or it looks too much on the lips it's just very soft so as i keep talking you'll see that it dries down there's no sheen left and they are transfer proof they're transfer proof that's why if you are someone you know who's very low maintenance with makeup you don't really want to spend too much time focusing on it this is the way to go. They come in like a variety of colors. It doesn't really emphasize a lot of lip lines like you know matte formulas do. And doesn't peel, doesn't crumble, nothing of the sort. And I like to pair this up with the Rusi, Rusi, with Juicy uh, Lip Tints from Romand. I don't know why, but they just pair really well together. I'm still waiting for like giving them another, a few more seconds so that I can do like a proper transfer test. This is the Ink Airy Velvet from Peripera. Uh, these are different from the Ink Velvets um, in the sense that they are more blurry, they're more powdery. Now, when I say more powdery, that doesn't mean they're literally like powder, but just compared to the Ink Velvets, because they can have a little bit of a creaminess, have the same scent. So pretty, so pretty. So far, like kind of very, very nice. The shade is like great for someone who's scared of red. Uh, if you're someone who just does not get along with the shade red, it's very easy to apply, very effortless. Okay, let's just put this on. I'm so sorry for like crouching because. It's the lighting keeps changing and I'm trying to get this recorded before we lose the sun because otherwise it can get very dreary here and I try to shoot in natural daylight because I want to give you like an accurate representation of what products look like because in studio lighting things look very different than they do in real life just a really fantastic formula thank you so much for clicking on this video today watching it and I hope that these swatches these reviews were helpful i love all these lip tints i would 100 percent recommend these uh, they're just unbeatable for the price that they're at and the quality it shouldn't really matter if they're high-end or mm, drugstore or affordable uh, makeup products they should be good and they should perform because we deserve the best if you like this video i would be so grateful if you could like and subscribe or you know just comment down below that would really help my channel and i will see you in the next one